Welcome to Dr. Mary Travel Best's Five Steps to Solo Travel Guide series. This is for women like you. I've been traveling solo since 1972. I recently traveled worldwide, and you can read about the latest in the book series, Five Steps to Solo Travel. Please share this podcast with future travelers like yourself and rate and review. In this episode, the Venice episode, the FAQs are, what about the possibility that the museums and galleries may not accurately represent the true history and experiences of these famous individuals? Have you considered tourism's impact on preserving historical landmarks and artifacts? And is it sinking? And lastly, how would you address those who argue that the cultural significance of these Venetian figures is exaggerated or overemphasized in the tourism industry? The answers are, yes, it's sinking, but slowly. Some of the historical figures may have been misrepresented. You still have time to explore the city. Is tourism here overrated? Listen for more in the following. Today's destination is Venice, Italy. And today's mistake is TSA found squash in my suitcase. And travel advice border crossing into Mexico. Let's talk about today's destination, Venice, Italy. Venice is a cultural center of Italy with 117 islands, 400 bridges, and 150 canals. The Grand Canal is the city's main artery and a must see. Now, if you're taking a gondola ride, it may seem kind of corny, expensive, and embarrassing, there are plenty of other ways to explore the city, but you can. Few people actually live in Venice nowadays due to the city's sinking and high prices, but the region still attracts many tourists. It also attracts Hollywood royalty and artists. A trip to Venice is incomplete without trying some seafood and espresso and visiting St. Mark's Cathedral. The city's history is also rich with connections to famous figures like Marco Polo, Casanova, and Vivaldi. I did not visit the museums, but I did see many of the churches here. There's always next time. And I have seen museums in many other Italian cities. I wanted to be outside in the fresh air. If you escape the crowds, venture out at dawn to do that and get lost in the back alleys so you can look for magnificent churches and also find some smelly canals. The Merchant of Venice by Shakespeare is another cultural treasure that you can enjoy here. While some private swim clubs I found charge 50 euros, you can visit St. Elena and St. Mary Elizabeth that's at the end of Ferry Line 1 and you can get a refreshing dip in the Adriatic Sea for free, as I did. Now there's the Lido, and also I liked St. Nicholas of Tolentine for mass. You can find the train station, lots of destinations. Be sure you bring an umbrella for shade and learn some Italian words so that you can immerse yourself fully in the local culture while ordering gelato. Lastly, Take the ferries everywhere around the city. Enjoy the relaxed vibe of patient tourists walking and waiting. The Anda Hostel near the train station is a recommended place to stay. While tickets to the Opera House may not be available at the last minute, this beautiful city has plenty of other cultural experiences. A day ticket on the ferries is cheap and trains all had air conditioning. Now for today's mistake. The TSA found squash in my suitcase. I grow vegetables and I wanted to share the fruit of my crop with a friend. It was a surprise to me when TSA asked me to open my luggage to show them my squash. Oh well, that was just an unusual object for someone to carry in their bag. They let me through. 
Today's travel advice, border crossing into Mexico. If you are crossing the U.S. border into Mexico, consider that the experience is always changing. Some days the line will be long, other days it could be short. The last time I was there, it took four hours in the car to cross back to the USA. That is ideal if all you have a global entry card and your car is registered. That wait would be long or short, depending on if everybody's got the global entry. Here's a way that you can shorten that. You can drop passengers off at the border and they can walk across to the U.S. while you drive your century cleared vehicle across the border. There could also be a long wait going to Mexico. So be prepared by checking in advance and getting auto insurance before you leave the USA. I want to bring meaning to your travels. So send me a question, connect on my websites, my Facebook group, my Facebook page, or Instagram. You can find me on Twitter, now X, and YouTube. Find Five Steps to Solo Travel. It's a book series with audiobook on Amazon. And look for show notes for more details. What's on your travel bucket list? Tell the doctor and her team of women who travel the world seeking the very best. Dr. Travel Best, that is.